Look, a dove is sitting on the windowsill. That's unusual. I'm surprised a dove would even be out flying in this snow. What is that? There appears to be something on the poor thing's leg. I wonder what it is. Is something the matter? Uh, no. Jazz will never forget, and he won't ever be able to get over you! Well, it sure took you long enough. What a relief. I'm glad to see that you all got back here safely. it, Reto? Did someone get hurt or something on your way here? Actually... So that's what happened. I can hardly believe it. Poor Claves. She must have been deeply troubled by what she was doing for a long, long time. Anyway, after that, Jazz headed for Baroque Castle. He said he needed to talk to someone that he knows there. But whether or not it has anything to do with what happened to Claves, I just don't know. What about the others? Where are they? Viola went home to set her goats free. After that, she's gonna head for Salsa's house. We weren't sure, but we thought you might all head for Salsa's place first. And what about Falsetto? Where's she? She's... Ever since she learned about Clavace's death, we sort of haven't been able to find her anywhere. She's gone missing? Yeah, we looked for her all over the place, but she was just nowhere to be found. 
Who knows? Maybe she felt like she's somehow responsible for Claves' death for some reason. Or falsetto. Well, there's no point worrying when there's nothing we can do. And we've still got some time before Viola arrives. Let's take a walk around Retardando. It's been a while.
Huh? Did something happen? Someone said they heard a strange voice coming from underneath the church. What? Underneath it? Does the church have a basement? Retardando used to get attacked by pirates all the time. They built an underground shelter so they'd have some place to hide in case it happened. Oh, I see. This church is on high ground, and it's quite far from the shore. That makes it an ideal spot for that kind of shelter. Oh, how creepy! The shelter must be infested with some sort of strange creatures! After all, it hasn't been used in ages! No, I'm sure it must be ghosts. The souls of the people who were killed by the pirates have come back to haunt this place. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, uh, yeah right, give me a break already. I'm sure it's no big deal. It's probably just some rats scratching around or something. Hey! It's you two! Huh? Uh-oh! I know them! These are the brats who've been stealing my bread! What? You're a couple of petty thieves? No, wait! There was a reason we were... Perfect! You have experience with this kind of thing, then! Go investigate that noise! I agree with her! That's right! Since you've done nothing but go around causing trouble for this city, you need to make up for it somehow! You're used to dangerous jobs like this. This doesn't look good. No, Reto, it'll be okay. Let's just agree to do it. We can always come up with some way out of it later. Yeah, you're right. That's a good idea. Well, what's it gonna be? All right, all right, calm down. We'll check it out. Just hold on for one minute. It's a good thing Polka's not here, huh? She'd have definitely found out about all the bad things we've been doing. Ow! There you are, Allegretto! How are you doing? Hey, Salsa. You sound the same as always. When I asked Salsa where everyone was, she said that you were all heading for Retardando. So we came to join you. But then, how'd you know that we were in here? Easy. We saw you just as you were going inside. Well, in that case, perhaps you could all help us out a little bit. Help you? With what? What are you guys trying to do? We're supposed to get rid of the ghosts underneath this place. Hm, it's pretty stupid. What? Ghosts? But ghosts are scary! I really hate ghosts! Ah, so that's why there were so many people standing around outside the church. I'll see you guys later then. Thanks! Huh? Where are you going now, Reto? Well, with this many talented people helping out, you don't really need me, do you? That's not fair, Reto. You can't push all the work on us and then just leave. Ah, I know what it is. He's scared of ghosts, so he's running away. Yep, that's right. I've been keeping it a secret, but I'm actually completely terrified of ghosts. See ya, Beat. And hey, good luck. Hey, wait! Excuse me, Allegretto, but what are you going to do now? Once you guys finish up here, we'll be getting on the first ship headed for Baroque tomorrow morning. They opened up the shipping lanes now that the pirates have stopped attacking ships. And as for right now, I'm gonna go get Polka. That way, tomorrow morning, we can all meet up in the harbor. Don't be late. See ya! Hey, that's so not fair! I don't care whether it's ghosts or something else. I don't have time to waste on stuff like that. Okay, it's time to go and get Polka.
have here? Oh, it's just a rock. It has a really weird shape to it, though. I guess it must have washed up on shore. I'm not much of a rock collector, but it really is strange looking. Hmm, maybe I'll show it off to Salsa later. Well, I'd better hurry up or it's gonna get dark. Stupid Riddle! Let's just concentrate on what we need to do and get going. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's get this over with. Oh, by the way, are you planning on joining our Endeavor March? Yes, I'll do my best not to get in the way. I hope that's all right. Bringing her along with us is much safer than leaving her in a go-go forest alone. Well, it's good to have you along. At least you're a lot more reliable than Reto. I can't believe he took off and left the work to us. Who knows? Maybe he really was scared of ghosts. <laughs> Pull your head in.
So the key person we sought wasn't the guardian of a go, go forest. And to think we almost killed that girl. We're lucky that Fugue and Tuba were so incompetent at their assignments. Or maybe I should say they performed their jobs perfectly. The Agogos only glowed when they were around that girl. If we are to get a hold of them, we'll need to find some way to lure the girl to us. Hmm. In any case, it appears she can use magic, which means that she doesn't have very much time left to live. Rondo, I want you to bring her to me. And you had better do it before she dies. Understood. Locating the trail of one little girl should not be too difficult if I ask in retardando. Wake up! 
good you really are. Looks like that's our ghost. So this is what's been living down here. What? That's it? If it's not a ghost, then it's no problem at all. Heal arrow! 
Sacred signature. the others oh they're all just fine I left them with a really important job to do back in retardando we're heading for Baroque on the first ship tomorrow morning
Look at that. I remember the night view being much more beautiful when I was little, though there weren't as many lights then as there are now. Well, yeah. In a way, every single light back then was much more innocent. Nowadays, if you see anything glowing out there, it's usually just the fires of mistrust burning brightly inside people's hearts. Fires of mistrust? Yeah, sure. Human beings live their lives always being suspicious of the people around them. I guess it's just about the only way they can be sure that their own hearts are actually inside their bodies. The only way they can prove they even have hearts. That rumor about catching a disease if you touch somebody with magic is a perfect example. Mistrust is the norm, and the people who lose everything from caring too much, the world calls them idiots. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. What a sad world we live in, that everyone feels they have to put so much energy into maintaining their feelings of mistrust. If only everyone in the world could learn to use that energy for other things, if they could. I'll bet that then, we'd be able to live lives that were filled with light. You don't always notice what's wrong when you're on the inside of a problem. I wasn't able to see everything that was wrong until I left Retardando. When the suspicion in your heart gets too strong, I think you can lose sight of the things around you that are really important. You're right, Allegretto. It's the same as this. Because the lights of the city are so bright, we can't see the beautiful stars shining in the night sky. Maybe I should just jump off this cliff right now. Then maybe a new life would be waiting for me. A life without sickness and fear. No! Wait, Polka, don't! What's the matter, Allegretto? You look so shaken. Did you think I'd really jump off? Even if I don't have long to live, I'm not going to do something as stupid as that. But thank you anyway for wanting to stop me from doing it. Polka, I... All right. How about I have my special rock make the jump for me? It can go in my place. Please, let it go all the way to the sea. <sighs> what did you throw? My special treasure. It's just an unusually shaped rock, but it's the perfect thing to take my place. Don't you agree? Oh, it was just a rock? That was your treasure? Actually, that reminds me. I found a rock with a weird shape today at the shore by Retardando. Here. Huh? Keep it. Hold on to this one in place of the one you threw away. Besides, I'm sure this one is much more unusual. Look how weird the shape is. But, um, don't throw this one away, okay? After all, it's the first gift I've ever given to a girl. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning in the harbor. Don't be late getting to the ship. What does this mean? Could it really just be a coincidence? 
I can't believe there are two rocks like this with the same strange shape. No, this is definitely the exact same one. It's been mine forever. There's no way I could be wrong about it. The weight, the feel, everything is identical. But that means that Alegretto somehow picked it up on the beach before I threw it away. That rock wasn't my treasure because it was unusual. It was my treasure because I received it from someone I love. And now, Allegretto's given me a rock that has the exact same shape. Does that mean... A treasure that I received from someone I loved. A treasure that was from Allegretto.